Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to diagnose uh, certain engine problems using the diagnostic connector on the MX-5. So right here I've got a NA6CE, it's uh, a Japanese import, um, it has a 1.6 litre engine. And so what you want to do is you want to try and find the diagnostic port. That's when you're looking at the engine bay, it will be on the right hand side of the engine bay just next to the airflow meter and here it is so as you can see I already have a small setup here basically all you need is a small jumper wire here that's the yellow wire here and the LED and resistor pair um, the LED doesn't have to be a certain color it can be any color you want um, and the resistor value I'm using a one kilo ohm value resistor here but uh, that is determined by your LED. Some, LED. some LEDs draw more current than others, so that really determines what value resistor you require. But if you look on the back of the diagnostic port cover, it has a little map showing you what all the pins are. So the small jumper here, this yellow cable here, you want to connect it between the terminals T, E, N, and a random ground port. It doesn't matter where it's the one on the left here or the one on the bottom here. It can be any ground port but you want to bridge those two together and the LED resistor pair you want to connect between a, the B plus terminal over here and the FEN terminal right on the other side. Now the polarity of course does matter so you want the positive side of your circuit indicated by the red side here you want to connect that to the plus B side while the negative connects the FEN. So once you've got all that set up, make sure that there are no um, short circuits on here and just double check your wiring and see if that's all uh, adequate. Once you think everything's running smoothly, what you want to do is you want to run over T key and you want to put it on the on position without starting the engine. So I'll do that quickly, then we'll run over to the diagnostic port and watch the LEDs flash. So, hold on. So the LEDs blue. One long flash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just that one long flash and the seven short flashes indicate that it's a code 17. Now if you look on certain online resources, the code 17 corresponds to an uh, oxygen sensor um, that the signal doesn't change, so it could need replacing or the wiring needs to be checked. So that's something to, on my to-do list which I need to do. The oxygen sensor is right down there and the wiring comes all the way up to this puppy here, so I may need to check that. Once I've replaced and fixed the problem, the error code will still be stored inside the ECU, which will need to be cleared. Now to clear the error codes on the ECU, you need to disconnect the negative terminal from the battery and depress the brake pedal button for about 5 seconds. That ensures that any stray voltages in the, in the electrical system are, um, have gone. Once you've done that, you can reconnect the battery and do this whole procedure again and check that the error code is clear. Anyways, that's about it for today, so um, see you next time.